In this video, I will be teaching you how to mirror warp planes in perspective. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in perspective drawing series. So in this video, uh, we will be having a look in how to mirror uh, warp planes in perspective. Uh, before we get started on this, let us first try to understand what's the difference between a warp plane and just a tilted plane, which we saw in our in our uh, previous tutorial so if you just have a look at this plane a b c d uh, these points are all lying on the same plane meaning if you just take the point a and d and if you just draw a rectangle as you can see in this uh, sand color the points a and d they lie on this same rectangle over here Similar is the case for the points B and C. Uh, these two points are lying on the same plane. Uh, whereas in the case of a warp plane, the points A and D, they are not on the same plane. As you can see, there is a slight offset, which, which is clearly seen in the two planes that I have drawn here the sand color one and the red color one. Similar is the case with the points B and C as well. So things are a bit complicated over here and uh, you will encounter these, uh, these sort of planes uh, and they have to be mirrored in perspective. So let's get started and see how it's done. All right. Uh, so the techniques which are used to mirror a warp plane, uh, they remain the same as the, as the uh, techniques which we have used while mirroring a tilted plane. So the first step is uh, we have to find the point A on the other side. So we have a point A over here and uh, we have drawn a rectangle in, in the sand color. So uh, we'll just go ahead and find the center of this rectangle like so and just uh, from this intersection point just run a line to the left vanishing point and we will get a new intersection point with the vertical. From this, from the bottom corner of the sand color rectangle, just draw a line which should intersect with the line extended from the top of the rectangle. This is nothing but our A dash. Next, we need to find the point D on the other side. So for that, uh, just have a look at the point D that is on this red color plane over here or uh, red color rectangle so I'll just extend the center line of the red color rectangle and I'll just just uh, extend this edge over here so we'll get a new point over here now if we just connect this new point with the point a dash where it will intersect with the line extended of from the bottom line of this red color rectangle okay like this this is nothing but our d dash so we can just go ahead and connect this okay so now we have the front edge of our walk plane. Now we have to repeat the same procedure for the points B and C as well. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we can do two things over here. Um, since there is no way that the line B C intersects with our vertical, that is out of question. 
so we will just uh, stick to our uh, uh, traditional approach or you know like a more common approach of finding the centers and uh, drawing the line to the center of the rectangles so i'll just find the center of the sand color rectangle okay so now just follow the point p along the vertical through this draw a line which goes through our new intersection point with the vertical okay so if we just extend the top edge of a sand color rectangle this gives us b dash and let us go ahead and do the same thing for the point c as well now take the point c go up along the red color line and through the corner just draw a line intersecting through the center point and where this line intersects with the extended line from the bottom of the rectangle is your point c dash oops now all that is remaining is just uh, connect these lines or these dots As you saw over here, uh, be it a tilted plane, a rotated plane or a warp plane, the techniques which are used to uh, mirror these planes remain the same. Just be sure as to where you are finding the center and how you are extending your lines to find the points on the other side. Uh, if you just follow the same procedures, uh, I think you will be good. Uh, this, the, you know, these uh, uh, techniques, they are very valuable in drawing symmetrical objects in 3D space. So, yeah, I think uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you understood. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, until next time, uh, see you. Have a nice weekend everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.